Hi, was Kirin. Well, today on Torn Up Tuck In Tuesdays, we are going to do a pea ham and mint soup. So we'll see you now in a minute. Oh, what's the Kirin? So before I do the prep, it's quite easy to, to do. I'm gonna use the new soup cooker I purchased from Amazon, 47 quid. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but it's a pea ham and mint soup. Never done before, so let's give it a go. Before I do that, I need to sort my hair out. That's out of the way. Put my new pinny on that I had sent to me. It hasn't got our logo on but it's as good as it gets. Welsh Pinny, I'm just go and wash my hands. See you now in a minute. So hands washed, and let's give it a go. So we need 380 grams of frozen peas. I'm gonna use the Petit Quars. I don't like the ordinary peas. I usually, when I've made a pea and ham soup, I've usually made it with a hock of ham and like Leo soaked overnight peas but this time I'm going to follow a recipe and see how it goes so I need 380 grams of this 300 and there we go so I'm going to put this into the put these into the Soup maker. Try not to get them everywhere. Put them in the bin. Then we need 12 grams of fresh mint. I've normally got them on a in a in a tub. Or if you haven't got fresh fresh mint. No, normally got them in a tub, but if you haven't got fresh, if you haven't got fresh mint, then jar mint is fine. It's just doing what you've got in the van. So what we got? I need half of that cut up. So let's get the leaves in there without any stalks and clean them up later. So I wonder what this is going to turn out like because I have never done this recipe before. We need um, ham stock which you can on the recipe it says you can buy ham stock uh, Oxo Cube or Tesco's ham stock cube but I'm actually doing some I've got a cooked a hock of ham or I'm in the process of cooking a hock of ham but when we cook hock of ham in this house it seems to go rather quickly because they like it so much so there's five grams so we need 12 grams of this mint So that's the 12 grams of mint we have in there. So, and cooked ham. I have actually boiled ham, but that's not ready yet for me to do it. So I've got some ham in the fridge, 140 grams. It's quite it's finesse. You can't beat a hock of hock of ham, but for this, these purposes, I'm doing this way. Let's put the peas back in the freezer. So we have the frozen peas, fresh mint leaves, 
quality cooked ham and I need 70 grams of a chopped potato. So I think one potato will be enough for this. I've got a, I've been told by friends at the gym who use soup make the soup maker quite often that it's very important that we don't go up or I don't go up to the more than what's shown on there. So 70 grams of potato. I've got 180 there. That's a lot. not much is it 70 grams anyway potatoes done, salt, pepper and that's just done. So I've got the peas, mint, ham, potato in the jug. So I need now to ha add the hot stock which is a ham stock which is from fresh ham stock. 500 ml and that doesn't look at all. It's enough, actually. That's just chopped it all up. Okay, so it's come to an end. So I better switch this off. Never done this before, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, so that's it. I think it's just a matter of pouring it out. It's very smooth. I know they say that you should have, you should try before you add salt and pepper, but so I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't look the most appetizing, but let's give it a go. See what it tastes like. Do I need a bit of salt and pepper? Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I don't think I need salt. I think I'll have a little bit of pepper on there. So you can actually add some creme fraiche to this. Uh, three tablespoons of olive oil and two rounded tablespoons of creme fraiche. I would suggest that you, if you're watching what you're, you're conscious of, the fat intake, I would put some natural yogurt in it because that's a good equivalent to creme fraiche. But to be honest with you, I've just had a little taste of it now and I, I, I don't think I need, I don't think I need the creme fraiche or the yogurt, but that's what you can have as well. And a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese. That is really, really nice. Please give me some feedback. Um, because I think it's really nice. You can taste the mint, you can taste the... I can't taste the ham. I can taste the peas. It's really nice. So until next time, see you now in a minute. Oh, what's the curtain?